So when you mention the word decouple, it's, uh, it's an interesting word. So we lose billions of dollars, and if we didn't do business with them, we wouldn't lose billions of dollars. It's called decoupling, so you'll start thinking about it. Biden cheered China's rise as a great power because great powers adhere to international norms in the areas of nonproliferation, human rights, and trade. Well, they didn't. They took advantage of stupid people. Stupid people. And Biden's a stupid person. You know that. You're not going to write it. First, we'll end the pandemic under Operation Warp Speed. We've pioneered groundbreaking therapies, reducing the fatality rate 85 percent since April. Uh, you don't hear that from the press very often. Uh, they don't like to talk about that. So the fatality rate, 85 percent. Think of that since April. The United States has experienced among the lowest case fatality rates of any major country in the world. And uh, we are uh, an absolute leader in every way. Under my leadership, we'll produce a vaccine in record time. We're currently witnessing the fastest labor market recovery from an economic crisis in history, world history. By contrast, Biden presided over the worst, the weakest, and the slowest economic recovery since the Great Depression. It was, a, it was a long, slow slog, and it was a very small, very small on growth and very small on every other factor that you need. It was the weakest recovery. Under my leadership, next year will be the greatest economic year in the history of our country, I project. And uh, some people are starting to agree. We have a V shape. It's probably a super V. And you see what's going on with the stock market, where it's uh, in certain cases, already setting records. The NASDAQ has set 17 records already. And this is as we're hopefully rounding the final turn in the pandemic.